Um, right, mates, and uh, g'day. Um, back again with just Ash uh, Heavily. And today we're gonna try to make a cloth. Okay, I'm gonna show you. Um, you know, you can just, you, I'm pretty sure you've seen those beautiful, crazy, a uh, blender um, clothes from Hard Ops or Flunt, I guess, yes. The Flunt and this thing yeah this is pretty cool stuff so that's the floon and yeah, this is the thing i was talking about and yeah, they made a free pretty good but yeah you gotta pay to, to to have this right and i'm gonna show you making them without without add-ons so just jump into it um this blender i'm using 2.9t and let's delete everything here and shift a and let's add a cube okay and we're gonna go scale z axis s and z and then we gonna control a to apply scale so after this you're gonna try to go to the edit mode and face and click the top of the face here and just shift d to duplicate it and right click to put it where it was before and then you're gonna click P to separate and click the selection so it's gonna be a different different part of it but just leave it be there just, just leave it there and you, you're gonna go to face mode this new object and you're gonna try to subdivide it subdivide it um, a couple times until it's pretty small I guess like this you, I guess like this and here you're gonna try to alt click on this edge and shift as well so it's gonna click along that line and as well as this one this what why are we doing this is for the pin so this part is not gonna get affected by the cloth so you're gonna go to this green on the right side and the third text groups you're gonna click plus and assign and just to check again dislike and select dislike and after that you're gonna go to object mode again and you're gonna try to go to modify tab and add modifier which is um, this place I tried using this place and I tried to not but let's just we don't need to, we, we're not going to use that for now and you're just going to go straight to close yeah here the pit, uh, physics properties click the close one and click this three dots on the, yeah, it's pretty small eh? but you guys you guys can see so there's going to be like um, a couple types of cloth here um, I'm going to try to use the silk one right so after this you're gonna go down here and check the pressure tab and pressure baby maybe two or three and then you're gonna you're gonna shape yeah shape you see here there's a pin group that's the thing that you that I was talking about before so you're gonna add the group that you just um, assign and the field weights field weights here you don't want to add gravity so just put it to zero and after this you want to go to a shape yeah shrinking here if you see if you see that it's a shrinking factor but it's just because mine's pretty small <laughs> i'm using my laptop and you want to put this to minus point mm, yeah, let's say two minus 0 0.200 so after this you just want to put this a little bit to the top and expand this a bit and end to maybe 40 or you guys can go 50 and from here you just click space for it to to make the cloth there you go 
it's pretty fast right because the the pressure you can try to play with the pressure um here the pressure is three and don't forget to make it shade smooth so it's so smooth now don't worry about these things it, we can make it even more, even more crazy later but now you can try to play let's play with the vertex mass you just put one and just click space again and you can see it's uh if you're gonna go crazy let's put five right go to the beginning it's like that that's what's happening so uh, i think i i like this so it's 37 frame of 37 i like it here anyway if you want to play more you can try to if you want to make it big okay if you want to make it big minus point five it's gonna go big to yeah it's gonna go like very high you can expand this the frames though if you want it just depends on preference um let's see if there's something i like i think i like this thing <laughs> but it's gonna just a bit of Ah, yeah, I like this one. Oh, I like this one. Like, just a uh, bit down. Okay, I like this one, I think, yeah. Okay, so if you done, you f after you found your favorite frames there, you're just gonna click apply, okay? Apply the clothes. And here you are with the material preview, just to check it, because it's too bright. You can add some materials and just put it to gray. And if you want to make it even crazy, add a subdivision. So you can add this before you apply, but yeah, you know, at least three or two is just enough though. Two or three is enough. And after this, you can see that it's it's pretty pretty cool though. It's already looking pretty good, but we could actually make this even more better. So go for the texture and I'm gonna split my screen here and go to shade editor on the, on the left side one and here you have the principal BSDF, BSDF right um, I like to put it a bit of roughness like uh, just a bit more add it a bit more and if you uh, I'm pretty sure you have the not wrangle add-on it that can help us later so shift A and add mask grave. Yes, we're gonna add mask grave and shift A again and bump. Normal to normal here. And height to height. And you guys can see that this is crazy, but you just need to put the detail up. You can go max, but I want to go to 11 and dimension down and you you're gonna get that um pretty uh, nice looking oh, i guess bad i don't know but you can measure like um just put the strength to low so it's not gonna be uh, that extreme so just look at what i said like i said use the not wrangler on the musgrave control t and you're gonna pop up gonna pop up these two tabs these cool amazing tabs and you're gonna try to you know, separate it a bit far from each other and you're gonna add a Voronoi you know Voronoi that crazy texture and blender and you're gonna have this right uh, it's pretty lagging because um yeah my laptop's not as good as you are so just bear with me but from here you want to add the f1 distant to edge and you want to click the distance to the factor and you're gonna have that right this is affecting the musgrave but if you want to make it even more tidy or it's a bit a bit more nice you want to add a mix rgb and just put it there between mapping and the foreign eye right and whatever you click here just click it as well for the color too so you're just gonna separate for the foreign eye and as well for the musgrave here 
and you can already see that looking pretty amazing it's it has a yeah it just it has a really cool texture here and maybe if you want to make it even more nicer i don't know a, a bit metallic and a bit darker like like darker I like that i'm gonna close this tab because it's already looking pretty cool and for the last part is you gonna go to render properties this is my favorite moment <laughs> ambient occlusion um i usually put it to around 600 and factor to 1.3 and uncheck that bare normals and that bloom no it doesn't affect you know, if you're gonna add some sun it's gonna affect some high uh, highlighting and shadows to hyper dab and the last part is look to high contrast check it out check it out mate <laughs> um, oh, I don't know what to say. I'm I'm, I'm gonna add some a bit of uh, yeah. I think that's just looks so good. It's pretty lagging. I'm gonna go to solid mode. I just want to edit this this one to add some bevel and three segments is enough. Limit angle, shading, shadow hard normals, and shade smooth. And we're gonna go to Metal Preview. Would you look at that? Would you look at that, mate? This is with no add-ons, okay? <laughs> you can achieve this. So, I mean, it's it's pretty laggy though. It's pretty. It's getting so laggy. But what you can do about it is you go to Google Chrome or whatever your browser is, and you type Blender Baked Texture. <laughs> I, I don't know much about this thing yet. I'm still learning how to back texture. I know, um, I guess pretty easy, but I just haven't haven't thought about it. Like, um, yeah, you know, um, just about now that I think it's quite needed. So you can try to back bake texture, but this thing, um, and it's gonna help. It's not gonna be laggy anymore. And this one is shout out to Markom 3D. It's pretty cool guy, I'm gonna help you a lot with this texture, but there's a bunch of videos about it, you can just type on Google, uh, on YouTube, I mean. And that's all for now, thank you guys for watching, thank you for staying with me here, and see you guys next time.